Look at my mighty sausage. It looks like it came off a Shetland pony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't eat it now. <laughs> oh. Hey guys, and welcome into the Roxy Report. Monday Madness with Dan. Okay, he's not here right now, but he will be in a minute. Um, so when, I'm, when I have you on my own, I just wanted to say that our internet has been fixed. So we now have super fast fiber optic broadband at 15 megabytes per second, uh, which is gonna be going up slowly over the course of 10 days. And that's really fast compared to what we did have. Um, so I was just really excited about that. I know it's like so small to be excited about, but I, uh, I'm a big fan of the internet and uploading YouTube videos and downloading video games on Steam. So, you know, you probably can't even hear a word I'm saying because it's really windy today. So, anyway, I'll get back to you when my dad's out here and we can uh, go to town and go shopping. Yay! Come on! Right, I'm I'm bored! Going. Come on! Bored? Hurry up! Tired. Go to town! Yeah, Throw lovely. Without falling over. I did this before. Really, really don't feel like going to town. Oh, okay. Sorry, I keep knocking those down. You should, you should glue them to the ground. I don't know. Blue tack. That always normally works. So this is a route we have to take every time we have to go to the car. So we have to walk past this. And my dad's bike, which is still coming along very, very slowly, but we'll get there one day. I've got to open this. Oh. Ah, there you go. We could pull up some pictures showing the bike tank with absolutely no engine in it. Oh, I could have. That would have been a good idea. Engine. You can show the engine bay now. Look at oh, that it's gleaming got an engine. 3.3 litre straight six. And yes, I know in America straight sixes are regarded as mom's shopping car, but over here that's a big engine. <laughs> It looks really nice. And it's got an American gearbox as well, a General Motors Power Glide, if anyone's interested in that sort of thing. Wow. <laughs> Fancy. Okay, so uh, yesterday we uploaded Dad's first vlog. <laughs> it wasn't actually meant to be a standalone vlog. I originally thought it was just going to be added into the Roxy report as a... This is what my dad gets up to at various other times when he's not doing silliness on the Roxy report. <laughs> but Roxy ended up making a complete video out of it, so I, ju I just recorded a few bits and pieces. I thought people might be interested in hearing the music, because I, I know that some places don't have a big rock and roll scene like we've got here, um, where there's lots of bands still performing and all the rest of it, so I just thought people might find it interesting. And people did. People did plus enjoy the, it. Plus the silliness of things like signs three inches off the ground saying beware of the wall and things like that yeah. <laughs> well uh next time i'm gonna give my dad um, this phone um so he can actually forward face camera so he'd actually be able to talk to the camera because and the camera he was using at the same time exactly because <laughs> the camera he was using only had uh, a rear facing camera and there was no way of seeing what so you had to hold it reverse, so you could like this. So you and I just had to hope I was in face, focus. Which or sucks, in, I hate those. screen even. Yeah. So uh, he's going to be using this next time. So the video content should be awesome. Also, the audio quality for the bands should be a lot better. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because that camera, the Bloggy Touch HD, which is the one we've been using since I got it in the States in 2011, um, it, it's, the microphone isn't great and it kind of blows out if there's any if there's too much sound and so, as I was recording right next to the speakers on uh, one of the bands it didn't come over <laughs> too well no it was a bit it was a bit choppy it's time for what's in the bag bag edition <laughs> okay so um, I got some stuff at CX and there's some pretty awesome stuff I'm going to leave the best thing to last um, so first up we have Sim Safari, step into the African savanna and shoot things. Um, and shoot, no, no that, <laughs> that's your shooting game. Oh, so um, oh, oh, that's right. not, it's not, it's not the same thing. We don't, we don't shoot them, especially after what happened at the zoo a couple of days ago. Yeah, uh, yeah that was a pretty horrible thing. Um, so yeah, so Sim Safari uh, is pretty awesome. Um, it's an old Sim game, so that's pretty cool to have. So I'll put that out so I know. Um, next up, we have. The real heroes, real heroes firefighter. There's some firefighters there. They're one pound fifty for firefighters. But one called it's it's all cel shaded, and it was like IGN loved it, 
and it's all cell shaded so that's going to be really interesting you know what cell shaded is yes someone shaded the cells no <laughs> it means that there's a black outline it's like cartoons it's like a black outline around all of the characters ah. it's like a black line heavy line to make it stand out more so all the colors pop oh you mean a bit like when they used to have really really primitive version of cgi which involved a backdrop of a film of clouds or whatever going along behind it and you had a pilot sat in his plane and the clouds were go and you could always tell because they had a big black outline right in them <laughs> i suppose primitive like version screen, yeah. of cgi yeah. yeah only not um, it was real people against a really pathetic backdrop <laughs> that's like green some green screen shows how far it's really mm. annoying death to spies death to spies the original and Death to the Spies moment of truth. And it's a third person stealth action game from what I could tell on the back. Um, an entertaining, unique experience. So that's, that's two games I've never heard of. I've never heard of the Firefighter one. And I've never heard of this. Um, in the world of Soviet counterintelligence, there's no reward, no fame, and no fortune. Intuition and wit are their keys to your success. Play as Captain Semyon Strogov, a trained spy in the Soviet Secret Service during World War II, based on real historical operations of World War II. Freedom to choose way missions are completed. Sneak behind enemy lines, steal classified documents, and eliminate officers. And so it has two games, and you can drive a, you can ride a, a, a motorcycle and a sidecar. Oh, that'll be the Russian copy of the BMW then, a bit like the one in my garage. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Only yeah. without a sidecar. Uh, <laughs> so you can play as my, you can play with my dad's car, my dad's bike. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> um, and the last thing, I've always wanted to see this series and another series that's related, I suppose, to it. And I've never got around to it. And also the fact that in the UK, it's pretty much never seen anywhere. Dynasty. Oh, not dysentery. Ah, I was like, oh my god, I've always heard about it. It's like late 70s, early 80s, that just cheese of the amount of 80s-ness yeah. to it. I love it. Yeah. I love that style of stuff. So I was just like, oh my god. Um, my mum used to watch Dysentery in Dallas. <laughs> it's so cool. Um, so hang on, I'll read you the description because I don't think anyone over the... I don't think anyone knows basically what this is unless you're like, I don't know, like... 40, maybe. I mean, anyone my age range wouldn't know what it was. Oh, you wouldn't have seen it. No. Um, they did bring back Dallas, briefly. Oh, yeah, Dallas was... Yeah, they did a remake of that a couple yeah, of years yeah. ago. Um, from television producing icon Aaron Spelling, the ex executive producer behind television mega hits as Charlie's Angel, Starskin Hutch, and Beverly Hills 90210. No, not the crappy remake from a few years ago. Melrose Place and Charmed. Got that. Wasn't Melrose Place also remade a couple of years ago? Anyway, uh, a show creators Richard and Esther Shapiro comes one of the most successful primetime soap operas of the 1980s dynasty. We live the high life of the Carringtons of Denver, a wealthy family whose fortunes were endangered when hostilities in the Middle East threatened Blake Carrington's oil empire. But is the dramatic? It, but it is the dra dramatic interactions at home follow the among the Carringtons and the Blizzardells that provide the explosive fuel for riveting drama from the opening episode surrounding Blake and Crystal's opulent wedding to the countless illicit affairs, dirty business deals and hair pulling cat fights. This is the show that had viewers tuning in every week to catch out, catch the outrageous story twists and flamboyant fashion statements. Oh my God. Huge shoulder pads. I know. <laughs> I was just like, I love, I just love the atmosphere of the eighties. I just love it. You doing another what's in the bag? I have a bag here. It's a sausage in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my mighty sausage. It looks like it came off a Shetland pony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't eat it now. <laughs> oh. I had an idea to put my head out the window and go, do you want to nibble my sausage? <laughs> I'll probably get arrested. Now, let's be honest. <laughs> I'll probably get arrested. What's on the board? Oh, there's a there's a pedal. Oh look, there's a pedal. A, a, a... Somebody's nicked the rest of the bike. <laughs> Did he have as well? What the hell? Cool headphones. That's quite a cool workout outfit. It's the best top. Work for it. And he's got some cool leggings. That's quite cool. When's that? 6th of June? Oh, that's plenty ages away. Next week, eh? <laughs> Oh, 
Oops, there were steps. <laughs> might come in handy for doing our hedge. Maybe. The humongous hedge, which you probably haven't included. I haven't ever included you doing the hedge, no. No, the hedge itself. It's been in videos in the background. Oh, was it? Well, yeah, it would have been, of course. Ah. It is oh. in our garden. And that's for people who are planning on having their legs amputated. There's like a, what the hell? It's like zip. Yeah, I know, you can unzip the bottom half of the legs. Presumably, that's for people who have now got normal legs, but <laughs> know that they're going to be going into hospital and having both legs taken off just below the knee. Well, then it saves them buying new short trousers. What, what are you doing? <laughs> can I, can I? Uh, sorry, I thought, I, thought I'd, I'd gone blind then. No, there was a pad in front of your face. Ah, that explains it. That, that would, yeah. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Soft, flumpy cushion thing. Well, that's actually quite cool. And some fake grass. Oh, it's, it's got beads in it. Oh my God, I love, I love the feel of that. Because it, it's like, um, what's that packing stuff? Oh, you mean the missing matter of the universe? The white yeah. polystyrene stuff? It's kind of like that. Balls. It's like polystyrene balls. Yeah. <laughs> balls. Um, How much yeah, if we buy loads and loads and loads of those, we can have that in the garden instead of our grass. And, no one <laughs> and then you wouldn't have to cut it. Brilliant. Yeah. Well done. So what's supposed to be here? Men's t-shirts <laughs> and men's <laughs> sweatshorts. Men's t-shirts are further up. And right? we have a small box. Maybe they're in there. <laughs> 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 it's tingly. It's broken. It's not broken. It's quite cool. I like that. It goes well in the bathroom. Yeah, it's a sort of miniature coffin. What? <laughs> what for a mouse? Bedtime stories for girls. That's sexist. <laughs> so sexist. <laughs> cable. Wow. Cable winch. Nice. What a cable winch? Yeah. Oh, you can fit that to your car and it's like an uncharted they have it. You want to work your table That's quite cool. Why are they that huge? I could have done with some that are a What, cable ties? Yeah, cable ties. <laughs> they're useful for tying cables. Why don't you just cut them so they're shorter? No, look how thick they are. They're absolutely humongous. I want those for in the car engine bay on the bike. Oh, I don't know. I don't want them dominating the entire engine bay. <laughs> Always have to complain about something. Open the bonnet and it's just an explosion of five mile long cable <laughs> which is thick. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Leather safety boots. See, it doesn't say for men because they're the only ones that do anything dangerous written on the box. The sexist. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so why can they have bedtime stories for girls? Yeah. What about the boys? Whoa. What the bloody hell is that? A Japanese saw, apparently. It looks like a paddle, a metal paddle, which will probably uh, rust after a while. It's also flexible. <laughs> and for precision saw cuts in wood. It looks like a spanking device. Oh, yeah, actually. Definitely with sadomasochism overtones because it's got teeth on the end of it. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. You thought it was just your generation that had invented stuff like this. I'm slightly worried now, to be completely honest. <laughs> oh, that's the one I haven't got. That's the Mario Cement Factory. I don't have that one. Mario had a cement factory. I thought he was a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, he has a job on the side. You know, he's not. He's oh. not just. He's not just exclusive oh, to plumbing. Sort of like a, he's not just a plumber. He's a cement factory owner as well. Yeah, he's um. What are they call night night. Um, moonlighting. Moonlighting, that's it, yeah. Okay, so it's time for what's in the mystery bag. Well, it's, um, it's these stickies. Stickies! Um, I, I, I like collecting them, I'm a child. Anyway, so let's see what's in this one. Hang on. Uh, I opened it beforehand so it would be easier, and it's proving not to be. Okay, <laughs> so the first one is. Oh, there you go, so he focuses. Oh, it's Sweden. Or, or somewhere. <laughs> somewhere that I don't know the flag off. He's got his uh he's got his foot on this board. It's really hard to pick this up with uh when he's completely white. And he's he's so bright right now the screen can't focus. Okay, so he's got a little ball, um he stood on it, and he's got a top hat. Uh <laughs> let's put him up up, up there. There he, there he goes. It looks well cool. Right, so the next one, uh, he, he fell off. Oh, damn it. Okay, so next up we have the green guy. 
I, I'm gonna be really, really kind of racist and say he's probably Irish. <laughs> Yeah, to be sure, to be sure. To be sure. To be, there he is, isn't he? I don't know. It's on their flag. It's on their flag. No, that uh, looks. Could be the Republic. Uh, Republic. God knows. He's he's probably he's probably uh, he does look like a leprechaun. I'm good. <laughs> probably. If we have any, I'm so sorry. If we have any Irish people listening, thank you for subscribing. Um, but. <laughs> Oh, he's got the little clover. He is. Ah. He's got the little clover on his hat. Hang on, if it focuses. If it focuses. If it focuses. If it fo Jesus Christ, come on. You're supposed to be a photographer's camera. Come on. Focus, God damn it. Okay, anyway, there it is. So he's got a little thing on his head. Um, he's also it's got a some... Shamrock. A shamrock? Is that what it's called? Yeah, I didn't in, realize. Ireland, in Ireland, a four-leaf lucky four-leaf clover is a shamrock. Ah. So he's holding his crotch. I don't know why. He's probably just been hit by a ball. <laughs> since it's a footballing one. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Um, it was uh, it was interesting. We went around Little and had a look at different stuff. And uh, we opened some bags. And we had some good times with Dynasty. And, and found a walk. <laughs> It wasn't a walk, it was a pan, wasn't it? No, it was a walk. Basically oh God, I know nothing. frying pan, but more slopey sided and the flat bit at the bottom's only about that big instead of about that big. Oh. But, Okay, yes. that makes sense, I didn't know that. All yes. right, that's fine. And so This car tracks really well, by the way, which is why I was just steering with none of my hands on the wheel. Oh God. <laughs> it's, it really is good like that. That has an accident. <laughs> that's gonna be the name of the vlog. Uh, anyway. So, I don't actually know what to call this one. Probably Dad's Got a Walk, or I don't know. I always, I, if, you, if you're wondering, I always title the vlogs with, um, I kind of title them like how the series Monk works. So it's like Monk goes to the fun fair, or I think Kimmy Schmidt does it as well, actually. Um, that Friends always used to it, was the one with. The one with, yeah. yeah I, I like yeah. that kind of titling system. So every, every Monday Madness you is. You victimise me. I do, you're victimised, you're always in the thumbnail. But yeah, it's, it's Dad does something, so um, we'll have to work out something. Dad Dad does a dilly gaff. <laughs> I, I don't think that's going to work, and I also don't know what that means, so. Um, there's a, a comedian called Kevin Bladdy Wilson, who's Australian, and that is actually his stage name, Kevin Bladdy Wilson. And uh, he does a song which has got less swear words in it than most of his stuff. Uh, try listening to Santa Got Stoned at Christmas, it's hilarious. But he also does one called Dilly Gaff, and he explains in there that it actually is the initials for Does It Look Like I Give Up? Work it out for yourself. F. Yeah. So, <laughs> and there's some guy who's actually got a pickup truck, I've seen it in Salisbury a few times, and he's got a show number plate on it with Dilly Gaff on it. Oh, okay, yeah. that's cool. Sorry, that was why I just said Dilly Gaff randomly in the background. I'll shut up, mate. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we're gonna end it here. Um, anyway, CZ Internet is now fixed. Yeah. Uh, yay! Um, doing episodes is gonna be a lot easier and he won't screw up anything else and it's just gonna be a lot nicer. So episodes will be out quicker and I may do more. And if you enjoyed um, the Sunday um, stupidity with, with my brother James um, and you want to see more he is up for doing more challenges so we were thinking of doing the chubby bunny challenge um, what? <laughs> say that again? the chubby bunny challenge okay it's where you shove as many marshmallows into your cheeks as you can wouldn't that be a disgusting killer hamster challenge? <laughs> they're no. the ones that stuff loads of things in their no. cheek pouches no it wouldn't does, does that we mean? Um, so the chubby bunny challenge may be a thing. Um, I was trying to, we were trying to think of other stuff we could do. Does James eat marshmallows? I he's don't know. I am. We do things you don't really eat them. You just hold them in your mouth. Like you have to shove as many in there as possible. But at the end of it, they're all icky anyway. You probably wouldn't want to eat them. Oh, you would. That's the whole point of marshmallows. They go all squitty. I know, but they go all squeaky. Anyway, that's not uh. Anyway, so the Chubby Bunny Challenge might happen. Um, we may do another round, but this time with sellotape of the Say Anything Challenge, because you're supposed to do it with sellotape. We completely forgot that. And it's lucky this isn't being watched in Australia, because in Australia, sellotape is a brand of contraceptive, a condom. <laughs> 
which is why you do not go into a chemist in Australia and say, <laughs> can I have a roll of sellotape? That's lovely. So, <laughs> anyway... Well, if this is in truly an internationally viewed super channel, it is. It is an internationally viewed channel. We have in viewers in Australia. Sellotape is sticky tape. Yeah. I don't know whether they actually sell sellotape as such in America. Sticky tape. But in Australia, sellotape is a brand of condom. <laughs> so you don't go in and ask for a roll of it. Wow. Okay, we won't do that. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to go to Australia anyway, to be completely honest. Only because I, I don't like the heat and, like, why is it? Like, 75% of it doesn't exist. Like, there, there's nothing it there. No, it just, there's it nothing there. Collapse. There's nothing there. It's just, like, only, like, like 25% of Australia is actually inhabited. It's just like, what's the point? Build a theme park or something. I don't care. Just build something. Make it interesting. Yeah, I like yeah, koalas, though. Rabbit World. <laughs> rabbit World. <laughs> No, I like Cat World. Not rabbit World. This is in a place that's just full of cat rabbits. Yeah, they were introduced over there a long time ago because people thought they'd be nice, and they ended up with an absolute plague of them because in Australia there was no natural predators. No. They tried everything, shooting them, poisoning them. They even introduced myxomatosis, especially... God. And what happened? The rabbits became immune to Mixie. So they're about to be an overrun. There's a stalking great anti-rabbit fence going hundreds of miles Jesus in Australia. Christ. Yeah, wow. and crop farms. Apparently. What will Trump do? <laughs> Build why, the wall. Why take the rabbits? <laughs> oh, God. oh, wow. I know, Trump. let's nuke Australia. <laughs> Trump's a bloody idiot. Okay, anyway, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we're going to get out of here. Um, this is probably the okay, longest... Well, we're going badly. <laughs> yeah, stop digging ourselves, you know, a hole. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. We're on to next time. That's us. Out. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.